Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage, Senior Vice President of Amazon Web Services, Andy Jassy. Thank you for being here. And it is my privilege to welcome you to the second annual AWS reInvent Conference. For those of you who are coming for the first time, welcome. For those of you coming back for the second year in a row, welcome back. reInvent is a different type of technology conference. It's not a sales and marketing conference. It's a learning conference. And what we're hoping for is that you learn more about AWS, you learn more about the cloud, you learn about what a lot of your peers are doing in the cloud, and then you take that information back to your own companies and use it and make action out of it to improve your own businesses. We have 9,000 people here in the next few days and about the same amount watching this via streaming from 57 countries. And the type of companies that are represented here is pretty diverse. It's roughly a third startups, a third mid-sized companies, and a third large enterprises. There'll be over 175 sessions that will be taught, many of which will be taught by partners and customers. There'll be 38 different office hour segments taught by hundreds of AWS engineers here. And then there'll be boot camps that many of you signed up for, certification and training, and then of course on Thursday night, the AWS replay party, which should be pretty festive. So we started working on AWS a little over 10 years ago. And we've been in the market now for seven and a half years. And even though if you look at the stage of our platform today and the robustness of what's available, it's night and day from when we started, we still think about ourselves as seven years young. And that's because we have so much more coming for you guys, our customers, in the next few years. And yet, in the interim, what we've done is we've built a very robust, fully featured technology infrastructure platform that has great breadth of services and depth of features within those services. And so we've got compute services. Most people know Elastic Compute Cloud or EC2. We have a number of storage services. We have object storage and Amazon S3 or simple storage service. We have a block store, an elastic block store. We have a backup and archival storage solution in Amazon Glacier. We have multiple database services. We have a relational database service called Amazon Relational Database Service, or RDS, that comes in MySQL or Oracle or SQL Server flavors. We have a very high throughput very low latency, non-relational database service in DynamoDB. And then we have a very broad array of app services that range from Amazon Redshift, which is a data warehouse service, to a content distribution network in CloudFront, to a big data analytics service in Elastic MapReduce, to queuing, to notifications, to email, to search, to workflow, to transcoding, to caching, to mobile push, a very broad array of app services so it's easier for you to get your applications built quickly without having to reinvent the wheel. And then we have a number of deployment options for you. For those that want to use the APIs of the command line, they can. 
For those that want to do nothing but use a drop-in container where you upload a file, where you automatically provision the instances, the load balancing, the auto-scaling, the monitoring, we have that too in the form of Elastic Beanstalk, which comes in a number of programming languages. And then we have a lot of people services that we've added in the last few years as customers have asked us to do so. So we have a premium support capability for those that want one-on-one -on -one technical account management. We have a professional services team that goes in and helps you figure out which workloads should move first to the cloud and then actually will help you implement the first couple. And then we have certification and training. So a very broad robust technology infrastructure platform that has breadth of services and then a lot of depth within those services.